Alright guys, we're back for part 2 of the jury tutorial, which I might even call the jury's out, which is pretty naive of me, but I don't care. Um, so we just covered normals um, and special moves and, you know, general summary of her. So now we're going to talk about special moves. Now, first of all, we're going to talk about her super. Well, we already talked about special moves. I mean her, you know, ultras and stuff. Her super, you got this. Boom, 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 boom. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. That's light kick. Medium kick goes a little bit closer, as you can see. Phew! It's pretty close. And then heavy kick is just ridiculous, as you can see. Oh! Boom, 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 boom. She takes a big step back and then does a super, which I really don't like that that much. Unless you're trying to like punish like a normal or something, which I don't agree to. I would normally use a medium kick one because it gets you closer. So if you're trying to do your combo, like that you're pretty much sure that you're gonna hit it except in the corner there's an interesting thing in the corner the super won't connect most of the time like here's here's the light one as you can see it juggles but the other four hits just completely miss the medium kick one uh, if you, that is if you try to combo it and even if you don't it'll still do a does that like only hits them like twice and even then you can be like DP or something after that which is pretty annoying or ultra them and then you've got um, the heavy kick one which I think still works yeah, the heavy kick one's the only one that actually works, which is kind of ironic that I was talking about that before, <laughs> beforehand. Um, so, what you got is the super there. It's a really good way to combo into, as you know, the... Oh, if I, if I actually keep my charge... Oh my god, oh, that's just cross-up. That was really weird. Uh, you can normally super cancel that pinwheel, which will have a big damaging ultra. Um, and that's a pretty good way. Once again, we'll talk about that when we get into combos, blah, blah, blah. And then we've got Ultra 2. Uh, Ultra 1 is Feng Shui and which I'll get into in a wee second. Here we go. This is Ultra 2. <laughs> Boom. As you can see, pretty, <laughs> pretty insane Ultra. Ow. Pretty crazy. Um, there's multiple ways to combo into this Ultra. This Ultra is primarily... People used to think this was an anti-air Ultra, but it's not, to be honest. They'll always like kind of get sucked out of it for some reason, it's really weird, I don't know why. Some jury players can use the down tier, but most of the time you won't, truth be told. Um, so Ultra 2 is pretty, it's a pretty good combo Ultra, this is like my preferred Ultra, just because I never really use Ultra 1, so I've always been using Ultra 2, so I pretty much know every way to combo into it, and we'll get to that um, after I cover Ultra 1, home character select. Um, Ultra 1 is Feng Shui Engine. What Feng Shui Engine is, is it's a, it's like a, treat it a bit like a Ganagian Ultra, to be honest, except this one, like you can't really, it's not like an instant juggle, it's more of like everything combos Ultra, which, alright hold on, bear off me, because I really don't use this Ultra, so I'm probably going to mess up about a hundred times here, okay, so, this is what the Ultra looks like, and then look, I don't see it should really do anything, it just kind of walks about, but as you can see, there you go, there's a little combo for you, as you can see all that combo. This is a pretty neat one. Boom boom boom. Instant sweep. Also, as you can see, like you can combo you can do the fireball kick out of everything. Let's do that again. Uh, you can also combo from the overhead as well. Like that. So you can do overhead, boom boom boom. Um so, so you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with this ultra. As you can see, look at that, that was insane. So it's a really fun Ultra to mess about with, and I guess your opponent really is scared, because whenever they're like, oh my goodness, like she's got Ultra 1, that's all panic and stuff, because, you know, they don't want to get hit by, like, an instant kill Ultra, pretty much, because I've seen some crazy jury comebacks with um, Ultra 1, and people are just going completely insane with it. But yeah, what you want to do is, you want to... You know, get the opponent scared, and then they'll end up blocking most of the time, so then you just hit them with the overhead and then start comboing from it. And then from there, they'll be terrified. Let's hit that one overhead and then go straight into all those combos I was doing, and you'll be okay. Alright, so combos. This is the main part of it. Her bread and butter is jumping, jumping heavy kick, crouching medium kick, heavy kick pinwheel. There you go. 273 damage, pretty good. An alternate of that is fireball kick, but don't let go. Well, in Super you wouldn't let go, but in this game, you can because it juggles. Because that's one of the differences in AE. In AE, you know, the fireball kick juggles. Her walk speed also improves and all kinds of stuff. And like, the kind of move actually works in this game, rather than Super. So, another a primary extended bread and butter is this. 
That was jumping heavy kick, crouching medium kick, light kick, light kick fireball release. As you can see, once you do that, you just kind of stay there, and then you can let it go any time you want. So you do that. Boom, 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 boom. So that's a pretty good um, combo. Alternates to this here are these. Like that. Or if you want to get an instant knockdown. Oh, if I can even do it. You can do sweep. So it's pretty it's a pretty interesting way of comboing. Most characters you can combo from it in from mid screen, um, but other characters on yeah, Ri as you can see that works and Ryu from mid screen, but it all, it works with all characters in the corner, I can assure you of that. But from mid screen, you know, characters like Ryu and stuff, like Shoto's, it hit it hit on them. Also probably bigger characters would work. You can do some really extended bread and bars like these. Ah, oh, flip. I dropped it. Oh, alright, well anyway, you, you get what I'm gonna do here. Now this is really good because it does a lot of damage, but just remember that when it since you're holding light kick, you can't do light kick, you know, as you can see, ooh, if I'm trying to do light kick, the fireball will just come out. And you also get rid of them, get rid of fireballs without you showing it by doing, off the, like that. So, I, so while I've done the medium kick, it just stopped, I just like, let go of the light kick, so since I was already doing a normal, it like, it, it over, it like overruled the fireball, if you know what I mean, but we'll get a lot again, like tactics and stuff. So these are pretty good combos you can do with Jerry. Boom, 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 boom. That's a really good, that's a really good um, damage. You only got 326. But how this combo works is since I'm holding light kick and medium kick. Previously I was, I was doing it with medium kick. Now I can, so I have to do heavy punch instead. And then whenever I let go of the medium kick one, then I can actually do like actually hit medium kick again for that combo. If you wanna, if you wanna use some meter. Even though that was a bit of a waste, so that's like one of her, I think that's like one of her trials or something, except I just have to FADC. I prefer focus attacking it, because focus attack, her focus attack's pretty good, for, like as you can see. And I much rather prefer that in her, I mean look at, that's really hard to do actually, if you can believe it. I prefer just doing the focus attack. And then that's her most damaging combo by the way, like her most damaging basic combo is crouching medium punch into heavy kick pinwheel, that's really good. Um, she's got quite a lot of interesting um, air combos with her um, jumping medium punch. That's her primary one. We've also got, if you don't want to use any meter, EX fireball, which is pretty good. And then you got, you can actually do medium punch twice, as you can see there, and you can actually do like, dive kick or something. Um, also, if you don't want to use anything, you just want to, if you just want to get the instant knockdown, you can just do boop, train of the sweep. It's pretty interesting. It's a pretty uh, good alternate way of hitting it. You can basically use any normal if you only do medium punch. But I think if you do it twice and you can't do it, well, if I can even do it, but you know what I mean. And also, a very interesting way is you can actually come into the ultra from this, like this. Now, how I figure this to work is if you, oh, I'll pause it next time, but. If you um, do the jump medium punch, a really good way of knowing if the ultra is going to hit is this. Hold on. Stop. Alright. If you see Ryu's body there, if you can see Ryu's body in the screen, then you're almost guaranteed the ultra is going to hit, see? Unless, of course, you know he's just about to hit the ground, in which case you know you're not going to hit him. So that's a really good way of comboing into the ultra, I think. It's a really useful way, and it'll teach your opponent from jumping. If they jump in on you, rather than down to your sometimes you can just go boom, instantly in a medium punch. Or jump medium punch, and then you know, then you can combo afterwards and like the juggle, like that. Oh, also, I forgot about this. You can also combo into the super from a jump medium punch, which I've also, as I've always been saying, I use the uh, medium kick version because it's the one that here. Yeah, it, it, oh my goodness, because <laughs> um, it's more effective whenever you try and hit it like that. Like you, like you're almost guaranteed to hit it all more. So if the light kick one, it since she stays in the same place, and sometimes it might, you know, some of the hits might miss. Whereas if you do the medium kick one, then you're almost guaranteed all the hits, the all the fireballs to hit the opponent. So those are some of her. Uh, those are some of her pretty good um, jumping combos. And uh, like I said before, you can also do this. You can do jump medium punch and the light kick dive kick immediately. So. In AE, you can now juggle into the fireball kick, and also, like you can do in super, you can also do this. 
you can go straight to the Ultra. Which I think is a really neat thing, but it's really hard to hit though because I mean, it's pretty, um, like, you have to know that the medium punch is going to hit the opponent because even though, yes, this is safe, it's still, you know, if you're going to, if you're buffering the Ultra, it'll take pretty, it'll take a while for you to realize that it's not going to hit the opponent and you might end up, like, wasting the complete Ultra. So I would only do, I would only do that combo if I knew it was going to hit. Other than that, I'd do, you know, the dive kicks. Also, um, uh, to get that, actually, the tactics. So yeah, like I was saying, there's ways to combo in the super, like that, which in the corner it wouldn't hit. Um, like, uh, you can only, I think you can, well, let, let me try this. Oh my goodness, if I can even do the combo. I think this works. Yes, it does, okay. So that hits, that hits pretty much all the hits of the super. So if you want to combo the super in the corner, then always use the heavy kick one. But if you're doing it from anywhere else on the screen, use the medium kick one. That's my verdict. Um, finally, ways to come out of the Ultra. Like I said, EX Dive Kick works into the Ultra. Here's another interesting way of comboing into it. If I can even hit it, you can yeah, but you see where I'm going with this. There you go. Straight into the Ultra. As you can see, I'm, I'm, treating, I'm playing too much Seth, uh, you know, and then doing from the Sonic Boom, focus attack time rather than Jerry's one. So that's a pretty good way of comboing with the Ultra. It does cost two meters, but I mean, if you if you know you're gonna hit that, then you might as well. Another way to do it, I'm not gonna hit this, but this is so hard. But sometimes you can go. Sometimes you can just focus attack dash cancel. Did this hit? There you go. So as you can see, you can focus attack dash cancel, but that is so hard though. Like I'd much rather do the focus attack because most of the time it would hit, you know, from anywhere on the screen, uh, rather than having to FADC it. So. Um, the goes are the ways to combo in their ultra, I think. Like, those are pretty... Ultra is a pretty good way to combo, like... What the heck? What does that mean? <laughs> uh, you can combo in their ultra pretty easily from, like, all those methods I was telling you about. Now, finally, I just want to talk about some tactics I like to do with her. As you can see, you've got the, t you've got the typical tick throws and stuff. You've got the fucking the trashy leg kick pinwheel, EX pinwheel trick, which, if, which you can use if you want, but don't, like, abuse it or else people will realise it and they'll punish you for that. So, what I like doing sometimes is, you can actually tiger knee her dive kick, which is pretty crazy. I can't really do it, to be honest, I'm not really an expert at tiger kneeing. There you go, like that. And I think you can come with the ultras from that, I'm not sure. As you can see, as I was saying, I can't really do it, so I haven't really experimented with it. But yeah, like that's how you tiger knee the, you know how to tiger knee moves if you're watching this, hopefully. But I'm not going to teach you, because this isn't the tiger knee tutorial! <clears throat> anyway. So you can tag any that, you can sometimes come with the ultra, you can come with the super, I think you can do that, I'm pretty sure you can. Um, other stuff is, like I was talking about a counter move, you can actually, um, watch this, alright. Super, ultra, okay. Alright, so let's try this, alright, so watch this. You can actually, you can actually combo or counter at, like, out of the... Out of the super and the ultra, so look, boom, and a nook. Oh no, here comes the ultra. Oh no, no, never mind. I'll just skip right over it. And you don't even need to use EX for this either, so you can just look. EX obviously works, but I mean, it's much easier to just. Oh, what the heck? Why did I go to character change? Well, I think that's pretty much it for my jury tutorial, actually, to be honest. And I'm just gonna wrap it up with a pretty nice jury combo that I, that I know. So, if I can actually hit it, I hope I can hit it, but I'm just going to pray that it will hit. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this jury tutorial. I might have been a bit sloppy in parts because I haven't really been playing her at all. What the heck? Oh, sorry, she's still on playback. Yeah, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed what you could get out of this. Hope you, you know, if you're trying to pick up jury, this might have helped you a bit with a few of my tactics and stuff and some combos. So anyway, let's see if this works. Alright, I might actually go a step further actually. Hold on. Oh no, it wouldn't. It doesn't work on Ryu. Okay, right, that might, okay, right. Here we go. Well, that, but also. Ah, flip. I haven't done this combo in so long. But I used to always practice it. I'll do it one more time.
Ladies and gentlemen, I have been Pete Alg. I hope you enjoyed that pretty sick combo that took about 100 years to do. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Got some information out of this. I might be doing some ranked sets or something. Uh, check out Elemental Dojo, you know, for some excellent clips and stuff that we'll be having uploading in a, week, in a couple of weeks time or so. Um, also remember to check out Kid Mischief's channel, once again link in the description or, well not on the screen this time, but link will be in the description. Check it out for some high level Jerry gameplay. Guys, I've been P-Dog, looking forward to your next footage and I'll see you guys.